Hello, everybody. Some. Welcome to Yes, Have Some Podcast. My name is Craig Goldberg. Welcome to the show. You know, I got to say right off the top here, Abby Gardner. Hi. Abby, Hi. Abby. Thank you so much for acknowledging me right You're off here, the top. You're here. And Jacob, that. Jacob's here. Uh, I'm here as well. But mm-hmm. but Abby's been, uh, you know, this week was the seven-year anniversary of the Ghostbusters Answer the Call trailer. And Abby has been playing our trailer review episode out loud. Yeah. I have, I've been going through the Facebook memories and I I decided to play it yesterday just in the house. And uh, you know what? It's though? hard. It's it's honestly, it's fun. It's Played nice it. to listen to. Yeah, yeah. I'll say this. I will say this. I was... Because we started the podcast in 2016. So we'd only been podcasting for about four weeks mm-hmm. when that trailer dropped. Maybe less. And I was impressed about, I was like, we're pretty good at this. We sound like we know what we're doing. We are pretty good. <laughs> we're really good at hyping up this unfunny trailer. <laughs> yeah. Abby's like, I've been watching it on repeat all day. Yeah. And I've got one question for you. Is it the wig or the hat? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, so Abby. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, I stand behind our work. Um, our opinions can change through the course of time. Yeah. But we, you know what? We were good. Or we honestly. could just flat out lie. <laughs> it's one of those. Anyways, uh, Jacob, how are you, man? How, how's your week going? Uh, it's going good. It's Saturday and it's been chill. I haven't really done anything. Just been hanging out. Um, it's been it's been good. I like that. I watched. Uh, I rewatched the Blair Witch Project today. Oh, nice. As one does. How was that? I- doesn't really hold up anymore i don't think oh no mm. i'm bummed out about it like i wish i wouldn't have watched it really what uh, yeah yeah what's what changed yeah what's, we reviewed that a long it's, time ago it's um i mean the acting's good it's still like pretty believable but it's just not scary in the least at all anymore and i don't know yeah. if it's i don't know if it's because the movie came out you know when we were really young or it's just because like Every movie is people running around in the dark now. Like, that's true. I, I remember, like, uh, you know, the kids laughing in the tent, you know, when, when they're inside the tent, being, like, one of the biggest, like, creepy parts of the movie. And then I watch it, and it got to that, and I was like, all right, this is, there's nothing. This is eliciting no emotion for me other than I'm bummed out because I thought this movie was really good. Mm-hmm. And now I'm watching it, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of bored with it. Yeah, it's like you're you're too tough for it now, or something. Like your skin is thicker, or, and it's well, yeah, yeah. can't scare you. I yeah, mean, in a you world lived more life. Well, it's not even just that you've seen Hereditary. Like there's a bit there's kind yeah. of a new yeah, standard. Yeah, it's like I've seen worse. But I mean, but also like, I mean, I've watched The Exorcist a million times, and and it still gets emotion out of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, there's something there that. I know there's just something that didn't hold up with Blair Witch, and I, and I don't know exactly what it is, but bum me out because I was like excited to put it on. I watched it a long time, and I was like, oh, I wish, I wish I still had the memory before I watched this. Yeah, because it's like I feel like it felt groundbreaking at the time when it came out. It was like the first, I don't know, I don't know if it was the first, but it, being found footage and it was like the first mainstream like found right. footage kind of. It was like a cultural phenomenon when yeah. it came out for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't seen it in a very long time. I mean, it was definitely, uh, you know, that was a scary watch the first time. But yeah. yeah, it was 99. We were. Yeah, right I watched years. it for the first time probably like six years ago, maybe seven. Um, And it didn't have that really scary, like guttural reaction from me. It, it definitely had like the nostalgia ride of like, oh, this really reminds me of the late 90s. Um, I liked the lore of it. It was very interesting. I enjoyed it. But um, I never found it to be like really jarringly scary. Yeah, Jake, maybe you're just like accessing like the original memory mm-hmm. and it's almost like a nostalgia thing, right? Like we're nostalgia is basically what drives us as human beings. <laughs> uh, so when when you're maybe you're trying to like el- hope for that, that same feeling. But I do agree, like, like when you go back and watch Signs, like the first time the alien walks in uh, at the birthday party. Mm-hmm. That's still scary. I think it is. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't seen it in a long time, but it's kind <laughs> of a sim. But that yeah. was like the same year as Blair Witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It might have been after. F- oh yeah, maybe it was after. Um. Well, damn, Abby, did you watch? What did you watch today? Uh, today, actually, I watched an episode of um, 
uh, The Bad Batch, which I've been binging. I watched like four or five episodes yesterday and I've been really enjoying kind of catching up. They must be putting out two. I, I kind of fell off of Bad Batch, but yeah, when- well, we both did. So it like backed Same. up and I went back into it and it's good. It's good, Jake. It's got like, there's even more like importance. I like I tried. It's there's they're doing less of the episode of uh, the week and less of like Sid's missions. And they actually had a string of episodes that were all connected to like a greater story. Um, and you got to see some like big characters pop in. So there, it was cool. You got to see the Senate from like, from uh, uh, from Omega's perspective, which was kind of mm-hmm. cool. So you got to see like as a little Senate vehicle like goes out into the Senate, like where it co- just the behind the scenes. I wanna, hey, I, it's kind of fun. I, I want to get in one of those. Yeah, that's, that's, that's ever just have fun. <laughs> that's like, what I wanted from Star Wars, more of the Senate. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, glad they're still giving us that after twenty years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a pretty. Comp- I like the the political story that's going on. It's all about like um. The, the rights of the clones, like clone rights after their de- after they are Order 66 has been executed and they're um, looking for purpose, meaning, slash being hunted down and killed off by the Empire because very, and the new uh, stormtroopers being introduced um, about to be. So yeah, there's a lot of contra- those, those Those clone troopers don't like those new stormtroopers, so we'll, we'll have to see what happens. I bet everything works out. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's always fine. Did you guys see this? Did you see this uh, Steven Spielberg thing when he was on Colbert? Everyone's making a really big deal about this, but he no. And there's a clip where at some point he refers to uh, uh, the Yoda. The first time you see Yoda wield a lightsaber, like uh, his battle with Palpatine, yeah. and he refers to it as the last Star Wars movie. And everyone's like, <laughs> "There's two schools of thought." <laughs> First, is Steven Spielberg like throwing shade at everything after? No, he's not. He just doesn't know what he's talking about. Does he really think that was the last? Oh, wow. Oh, man, that's so funny. Um, That's an interesting perspective for sure. Speaking of Star Wars, we're going to be doing Midnight. uh, That's not what it's called. Mandatory Mando. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to talk about Mandalorian here. You might be expecting it, but you'll find it on the feed. It's weird that you're saying that because this episode's not, they're not going to listen to this before Mando comes out because Mando's coming out in like an hour. Let's see. By the time you listen to this, get ready for the second episode of Mandatory Mando Mm -hmm. next week. Oh, I have no. The timelines are weird. I have. To, I wish somebody. You know, when you get like a like an art of book Star Wars and it shows you all the timelines. Yeah. I wish somebody did that for my life. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> it would be no, you don't, because it would be very depressing. It would be like yeah. sat around today, sat around Listen. today, mm-hmm. went Jake, to work. I'm trying to be respectful of all of my friends and where they are with their existential crisis of their own mortality. And I know everybody deals with the stuff in a different way, but I, I, I saw this article yesterday. I almost said it to Jake, but then I didn't because I was like, I'll just talk about it on the podcast. He can choose <laughs> to listen to me or not. But the ar- live traumatize us. Cool. No, it's not. It was actually cool. It was saying that there's, there's new research saying that um, the human brain still functions after death and uh, oh. people might be able to be conscious of their own death after it what? happens. Holy shit. That's kind of that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I, I hope, hope so. I hope it's a temporary like 10 I, minutes. I hope so. I so I can be like, well, that was kind of a lame death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do a podcast? Wow. Like- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, imagine if the three of us were able to do one last episode after we're all dead. Like- <laughs> Dude, I thought like honestly, I thought I thought Jake's death was a little underwhelming. Like he I just hope, stripped yeah. and fell. He hit his head on the sidewalk. <laughs> like there was no alligator involved. He didn't go down battling a great white mm-hmm. like we always planned. <laughs> um, so, anyways, well, I, I hope I kind of hope it's not real because I don't I don't need that stress. You yeah. don't want to be thinking about. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'm I dead. I like think that your sentience and like that you kind of stick around a little bit, like maybe, yeah, like things are still firing off because physically that still happens. I don't think it would bother me. To, I, I think I it'd like, be nice to have a little like an after show. I think I would be annoyed. I'd be like, Jesus, why can I just go, please? Like, how long are they going to make me fucking stay here? It's like, when are the doors open? It's like, <laughs> like literally, the, the Satan, the, <laughs> where are you? The, the, uh, <laughs> The YouTube thumbnail is uh, 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 confirmed. Life has post credit scene. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dude, nice. The real reason, the real reason that we keep a consciousness 
after we die is so we all so everybody in the world's final thought is embarrassment because they just shit themselves <laughs> that's what i was gonna say like if my stinger scene my my actual death stinger scene i'd want it to be something like very funny and embarrassing like well, a flash wait, of that moment well, the sing- last thing every human being does is shit on themselves <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that also happens when like well your mom shits herself when she has you if she does it the right way. Wow. <laughs> that explains a lot. That's, that's what Craig knows about pregnancy and childbirth. What do you know about childbirth? The shit. There's um, shit there. Well, listen. Cool. Good segue to- 10 minutes um, in. Yeah, 10 minutes in. We've mm-hmm. covered- Hey, this is new territory. Come in covered in shit. You leave We've covered. covered we're shit. covered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're covered. <laughs> um, I can't wait to see my post credit scene. I hope they introduce like a new character. <laughs> <laughs> Thanos walks in. Like, whoa, this is crazy. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, no, obviously, it, when I die, I'm going to go to heaven and Harold Ramis is going to welcome me. And we're just going to hang out for like 10 hours. Yeah. So, anyways, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens. But we'll, let's not worry. We'll worry about that later. We'll worry about all Hopefully, that. way later. Much later. Yeah, we've got some time. There's going to be like at least still two- time. I like to think that there is. Yeah, at least <laughs> there's still time. Um, so, well, we're, we're happy. Everybody's here. And just to let you know, throughout the duration, we're going to still have our regular YHS podcast episodes, uh, throughout the duration of, of, uh, the Mandalorian, but we will have the, the, the Mandalorian recap episodes for mandatory Mando every week. We'll have regular YHS. We'll have bonus content. We'll have toy anxiety. Too much bullshit. It's a it's lot much. of work. We're putting in a lot of work for free. So, you know, come yeah. on guys. Cranking it out. Well, you could join the Patreon at patreon.com slash yes, have some and make it all worth it. Send us to Comic Con. <laughs> come on. Yes. Get us back to San Diego, please. There's palm trees. For There's just five dollars a month. There are What's palm that, trees there. That that good breakfast place. Yeah, oh my god. I don't even care about Comic Con. I just want to go back to that place. Yeah, if I don't remember what it was yeah. called, but it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Breakfast Republic. Oh, um, Craig can remember that. I'm there. Hey, that's what my end credits scene is going to be. Just us all quietly eating at Breakfast Republic. No one talking. We, no one's all right, anything. so we got to take Abby's body to the breakfast place. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be sprinkled and feed in an eggs. omelet. <laughs> Hi, how many in your party? Veggie omelet. Well, two and a half. Um, <laughs> oh. this is well, this fun. one's already a vegetable, so. <laughs> Cutting that? No, I don't have to cut that. I don't have to cut that. <laughs> Oh my god. Do um fuck. The thing I was just about to say was going to be so funny. It had to do with vegetarians and cannibalism. Let's keep going. Um <laughs> uh uh I want to talk so we've seen some movies. Jake, you were up here for your birthday. Yeah, we saw some movies. Uh we saw Cocaine Bear. Oh, we did. Yeah, we watched Megan too. We watched Megan. So yeah. we're, we're finally YHS is catching we're catching up with the world. This is great. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. the trailer for Haunted Mansion just dropped uh, maybe we can start there okay. um because I, I did want to cover it and i really the first thing i'll say watching that trailer is i hope they make a ride based on this movie i think it would be really co- like a really cool experience maybe like with, with owen wilson in it <laughs> okay let's, that's what i thought i was like this story deserves a ride listen whether or not that movie turns out to be amazing or bad do not add Owen Wilson to Haunted Mansion like we did with Johnny Depp. <laughs> He's a, it, it's whenever, you know, whenever you leave and the ghosts are in your car, oh, it's just yeah. now it's Owen Wilson. And, but Vince yeah. Vaughn's in the other in one, car. like, what's going on? <laughs> um, Jake, I'll start with you, man. What, okay. So we, we all love Haunted Mansion. We're all theme park enthusiasts. Uh, what, what, what'd you think of this uh, first trailer? Uh, Rosario Dawson, uh, Owen Wilson, a bunch of other people. Looks yeah. Great. Uh, so my two takeaways are that visually it looks really fun. It looks cool. I saw a hat box ghost in there. Like it looks very much like the haunted mansion. My second takeaway was like, I wonder if there's a trailer out there with like funny jokes in it. Yeah. Because all the dialogue's weird and none of the jokes land, but it Mm -hmm. visually looks good to me. Right. I kind of picked up on that. Um, I, th- I think you know we've we've been doing this long enough to know that uh, trailers are uh, are tough. Sometimes they're they're very representative of what the movie ends up being, and sometimes it's just like a marketing yeah, but they're, department. That- but they're usually but trailers are usually overwhelmingly good because they're just taking the best pieces of a you know hour and a half two hour movie and trying to trick you into thinking the movie's awesome. So it's like. 
easy to make a good trailer out of a bad movie. Right. But if the trailer's bad, it's like, hold on, are you telling me there's no jokes in this movie funnier than they're going to be deader? That's what they end the yeah. trailer on. I mean, I was expecting a, a, a you know... Get out of my friend, ghost. <laughs> there were some notes. Like, I was like, those are the same goddamn ghosts. Well, can I can I throw something at you guys? First of all, Abby, you're right. The mirror ghost looked a lot like that first ghost from Answer the Call. Yeah. Guess who wrote this movie? Oh, boy. Dippold? Katie Dippold. <sighs> Bitch, could have called it. <laughs> Dude, like, for real, though. Um, if, and there's no compl- I just know that that's your vibe from reading so many articles about how she set up to write Answer the Call with Paul Feig. It was like Haunted Mansion type stuff. Y- y- sure. Yeah. I mean, listen, I, I'm i going to just say it. I know earlier I said the movie looked great. I don't know why I said that. Just something came out. I, mm-hmm. I was not that impressed with this trailer. I, I thought, no. I, I thought like it'll be a fun movie to go see, but I mean, we got Muppets Haunted Mansion last year, and that was like that was actually pretty fun, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Like if if my memory <clears throat> serves, but me I right. like that. Yeah. I like the story. The fact that Danny DeVito in it is in this gives me like I like Danny DeVito, and I think he's funny. So may I don't know, maybe like I I want it to be f- like I'm I'm never expecting like a Disney movie that's based on a Disney ride to be some fantastic piece of like uh, art or anything, but I I do hope that it's going to be at least fun to watch. But like, you know, I don't know if you guys watched, uh, what was that void? The boat movie with the rock. That's also based on a cruise. What jungle cruise? That movie fucking sucks. That movie's so bad. So here's a couple things. Do you guys know who's playing the hat box, hat box ghost? Yeah, it's fucking it's Jared Leto. Jared right? Leto, Jared I'm looking Leto. at Alistair Crump. Um, here's the thing. Except, like, if you pause it and you look at the picture, it just looks like the hat box ghost from the right, right, the animated. Um, mm-hmm. here's where I worry about a movie like this. It has a really good cast: Rosario Dawson, Lakeith Stanfield's great, like Owen Wilson, like Danny DeVito, Tiffany Jamie. Hadish. Yeah, there's a lot of people in here that are like quality actors. I worry with movies like this that sometimes they put together like these ensemble casts and they know it's like a Disney fun, silly movie. And like the, the actors, like they almost don't take it as like seriously. And it it comes through like, and sometimes you get the opposite, like pirates of the Caribbean, like that movie's way better than it has any business being, right? At least the first one. And Johnny Mm -hmm. Depp's like super committed to Jack Sparrow and and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, this kind of feels like, oh, it's Jamie Lee Curtis being like, yeah, I'm doing a fun Disney paycheck movie and Danny DeVito and, and all that stuff. So I, I don't know. I, I, I've been looking forward to this and knowing like this movie's been in production for a long time. Guillermo del Toro was originally writing it, knowing it started oh. there. And yeah. now it's going to be, it, I mean, I, yeah, that's, that's a drop. For I'm me. not trying to rag on Ghostbusters too much, but it, it, uh, it I got those ATC mm-hmm. vibes. I did too. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, when's this come out? Um, Haunted Mansion is being released in theaters July twenty eighth. And I still got a good bit. Yeah, we got a, we got a little while. I hope to ride Haunted Mansion before then. I want to go back to Disney World. Let's go! Yeah, let's do it. I Where are you going? That. What are you guys There's doing this weekend? There's still time. Yeah, There's still time. Um, I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's still time. Okay, so a couple other things. Let's talk about the movies we watched. Okay. Megan was one that we got a lot of hype, but we all missed out on it. Now it's available on streaming. Jacob, I'm going to start with you because I know <clears throat> we all kind of were like, we kind of wrote off Megan at first as like, you know, uh, they, what is this? Annabelle? Yeah. You know, kind of, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. What would you think? I thought it was fine. It, it had some fun moments in it. It, you know, I originally didn't want to watch this movie at all because it looked, the trailer looked really stupid to me, looked really bad. Um, it's the same plot I've seen in other movies before. But then when I started to hear that it was actually like a comedy, I was like, you know what? If it's a comedy, if it's like silly and it's kind of not taking itself too seriously, then I'll, I will watch that. And there were some moments that were fun. I think it could have been a little more. It's PG-13, which is weird. 
Uh, you never see one person die in this movie. It's all off screen. There's like no blood. It's all pretty. It's almost like a kid's movie, kind of. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's like watching The Leprechaun, but without the charm of Warwick Davis. I would never do that. I would not watch The Leprechaun if Warwick Davis, if they somehow digitally removed him and mm -hmm. it was just a movie about you, a hundred percent. Hey, a hundred percent, you've watched a Leprechaun movie without Warwick Davis. Which one? Oh, the oh. one with Lyndon in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're, we're, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. We're calling that a Leprechaun movie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't really. They I, called it a leprechaun. Movie. It was better. Cool. It was better than two of the other leprechaun movies. Three of the sure. other leprechaun movies. Sure, sure, sure. Um, sure. No, I just meant that if they removed Warwick Davis from the first leprechaun, and it was just a movie about some people painting, three a house, guys who paint. Yeah, if it was just a movie about that, mm. um, then I, I probably wouldn't watch. Yeah, I was the driving force behind watch wanting to watch Megan. I think, yeah. I, as I recall, I was like Megan, Megan, let's watch that. <laughs> Megan, Megan. No, I didn't do that. I really liked that movie. I would be willing to say I enjoyed that movie more than Cocaine Bear. Okay. And I oh, know. Sorry. You're gonna, I didn't mean to make that gonna, sound at you, but that's ridiculous. I know, I know ridiculous. you're going to kick me out of court for saying that. <laughs> but I fucking enjoyed Hey, you've been doing a pretty Megan. good Megan impersonation. Yeah. Let's hear it. And bulletproof. No, that's I'm. just what you say. Yeah. Um, I'm your best friend. I don't remember. No, I was doing good. it last night, but I was in a mode. I was, um, I like this Megan movie. Mode. I really liked, I like the uh, Twilight Zone Talking Tina episode. That was like, that for me is like my basis for an evil doll, even more so than Child's Play because that it was what I saw young, like when I was probably six or seven years old. When you were a young one. When I was a young and I saw Talking Tina and so like having a doll in the house that's like tr secretly like playing a ruse on, tri well, that's the same thing as Chucky. I understand that, but <laughs> hey. I fucking like uh, Allison Williams, and I thought that Megan was. I I just liked the vibe, the sachet, the hair, um, and I thought the kills were really fun. And I also liked like the um, toy industry world that was kind of explored of like what kids want and what you know was being developed and what happens when projects are scrapped. Kind of because we have an inside view into like toys. I wish that like was that. the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. Me too. I just wish it was about a toy company. I, I liked it. Oh, room. also a, a young child, a girl who's suffered loss that like is looking for a relationship. I found that to be something I related to and was like, oh, okay. I would, this is, I'm, I'm interested. I, I was in from the very beginning um, and I liked it. My, here, Okay. This is going to sound bad. I don't want, I'm not trying to, I'm a professional critic, so I can say whatever I want. <laughs> by, by the way, that's what I'm calling myself now. That's okay. Um, we all are. We should get on Rotten Tomatoes. We should be the people telling people if movies You're are right. good or not. You're right. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm. Uh, I'm selling my Allison Williams stock. I'm not all in on Allison Williams. I there's a she. She's fine. She's fine. No, not like that. She's like <laughs> she's fine. <laughs> Remember, people used to say fine. He's fine. Fine doesn't. That's like she's okay. Like I. I, I would. I was looking for a little bit more. Now I will say this. I think they, I think they, what they were going for is kind of like a middle of the road, like works in the tech industry kind of person. And I think they, they kind of achieved that. But I, I think I was looking for, I thought the little, the little girl, the actress was pretty good. Like we've seen her in other things. I think she was in, I think she was in Hill House, haunting, haunting. Violet McGraw. Yes. Yeah. She was yeah, great. <clears throat> Tim McGraw, but she was mm -hmm. pretty good. She um, was in Dr. Sleep. Oh yeah, Dr. yeah. Dr. Sleep. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's almost like a little bit of a lack of charisma for me. Um, yeah. But maybe that maybe that was where they were going. But I actually thought I liked Megan more than I thought I was going to. I'll say that uh, it did really well. It's getting a sequel. Um, and I did hear the unrated version's not very different. Like it's not much more violent. Yeah. Um, or anything Which is a like bummer. that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, you know it. It's always a good thing when a horror movie does really well. Like that's always exciting when something kind of has like a mainstream success. Um, mm -hmm. It's good for the genre. Uh, so good, good job, horror. Mm -hmm. Abby, anything else on Megan? Ah, that's it. I just enjoyed it. It was a thoughtless, fun movie for me. And it was fun. Um. All right. Let's talk about Cocaine Bear. Yeah. Guys, I forgot to hit the record button. Psych. Just make sure everyone's on. <laughs> keeping everybody on their toes um let's talk about cocaine bear 
Jake, we, we talked about this movie was on your most anticipated list for this year. It was, yeah. So did it live up to the hype for you? I mean, it was exactly what I thought it was going to be. It was dumb and silly, and you got to watch a bear kill a bunch of people. Um, I thought it was really funny. It was, it was honestly, it was better than I thought it was going to be. It's, it's, it looks better than you think it's going to be. Like it's shot well. Um, a lot of the characters, uh, I had like a good time following and watching uh, the actors. Uh, Solo is in this, and he's better in this than I than he is in Solo. And <laughs> and uh, the kills are all really fun, and you see them. Unlike Megan, uh, there's a little bit of gross stuff in it. Uh, and also the bear, uh, spoilers, the bear doesn't die. Like they, 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 they kind of, by the end of the movie, you have a different villain and you kind of root for the bear. And those are my favorite kind of uh, killer animal movies where the animal doesn't die in the end. Mm-hmm. They kind of went out of their, this is kind of a, okay, let me, hold on. Let me express myself here. First of all, I, what surprised me about this movie is that going in, I can't, the way they're marketing it, I thought it was going to be more of a comedy. It it was feel- a it was a pretty uh it was a pretty hardcore comedy. I thought. I see. I I mean, there's there's definitely funny parts, but when I think of a okay, like I think Guardians of the Galaxy is a really funny movie, but I don't consider it a comedy. Like I don't. To me, yeah, there's a lot of jokes in this movie, and they're funny, but. I don't think I thought going into it that the goal of the movie was to be funny, but to me it felt more like a straightforward. It kind of just felt like a horror movie to me, not in a bad way. I liked this movie. I'm not criticizing it. It's just it was a lot. It was different than what I was expecting. If to, okay, we're gonna get into spoiler territory. It felt to me more like Final Destination with a cocaine bear, where I was like, "Ooh, what's the next kill going to be?" Now. I'm not saying it's not funny. Don't get me wrong. It's a funny movie. Maybe a horror comedy is what you can call it. But again, horror comedy to me is more like Shaun of the Dead. Am I wrong? No. Yeah, you're you're 100% wrong. Uh, uh, a horror no. comedy is a movie where there are horror elements and comedy elements. And that's they don't all have to be like Shaun of the Dead. Uh, this movie, to me, is 100% more a comedy than it is a horror movie. There's nothing scary in this. Like, there's an animal that's killing people. But at no point is it presented as a horror movie. There's no like, you know, horror tones. There's not dramatic music. There's no dark, you know, uh, like it's silly from start to finish. The bear is dancing around and getting <laughs> high. It is a comedy movie in which people get killed by a bear. Yeah, and I think the fact that it's graphic is why Craig is thinking that it's so um, so much of a horror movie. Yeah. Because it does. There's a lot of blood. There's guts. Some yeah, guts. I, mean, I liked it. I thought it was a stupid, fun movie. Yeah, and that's exactly go, what it is. Yeah. yeah, I've seen posts about it saying, like, you don't have to know about comic books. You don't have to know about the legacy of... God, it's that. like there's no pressure. I don't yeah, have to just, fucking know anything. I don't have to know... Discipline. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have to know how cocaine works. I don't yeah. think this is how cocaine works. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure the, the the real story that this is based on, the bear did k- cocaine and died immediately. Yeah. Didn't like get superpowers and like... Yeah. It's bad yeah. message. <laughs> we walked out of the theater. I saw a bunch of little kids just eating cocaine, which <laughs> they do in the movie, off mm-hmm, of a knife. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, yeah. I want to say the movie did a really fun uh, job of like making... Georgia shine and kind of like having that like I felt like the accents that uh, were put on were like pretty authentic. I thought the cast really was good pretty feel. good. Carrie yeah. Russell's good in it. Ray Liotta's like the really good in it. Uh, preserve, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nature Preserve is where all that's. Al- Alden Ehrenreich. Let's talk about that for a second because we've been notorious, notoriously hard on um, yeah, I, Solo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He he actually had a lot of charisma in this movie. Like he's kind of he looks like disheveled and like he's going through a lot. That's the character he plays. Yeah, but. I re- distinctly like when I when I noticed it was Alden Ehrenreich. I told you and I was freaking out because I was like, when I saw this guy on camera with the jean jacket, I was like, he seems like someone like you know when you're like I might have hooked up with that person, but like you don't. <laughs> but, but then you're like, but then you look and you're like, he's, oh, he's, he's hot now. He's like a good drug for him. cartel. He's a drug lord. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, but he's know, yeah, but Craig, I'm, he's sensitive giving, though. Yeah, and, he's and sensitive. hold on, and. He's a pilot. He is. 
he plays a better character and he's he's better and more likable in a like in this situation i i agree he was great he was great he looks like somebody i hooked up with i I guarantee yeah (laughs) i was giving it as a reference of like you know when you see someone that you had hooked up with and now they're looking really good and you're like good for them good for me like again (laughs) he looks like shit in the movie but I think he's, he's cute. crying for the first hour of the I movie. Really had a crush he's on him. sad, and he's like, oh, just got God. broken up with. I'm gonna go watch um, Solo again. Uh, oh, with the we, volume off. Yeah, and we, we <laughs> and my eyes closed. Hey, you know what? A, what a, you know what? It helps Solo, a cocaine bear. I think that yeah. would help any movie. Like if Chewie was on cocaine, <laughs> <laughs> then it would have been called Coaxium Bear. Ooh. <laughs> um, Kessel Run. I'm a bear. Listen. O'Shea Jackson Jr., also Star Wars alumni. Again, better in this than he was in Obi-Wan. Um, yeah, so yeah. he was funny. Uh, Ray Liotta's last movie, I believe. Um, lots of great people. I mean, Carrie uh, Russell, I Car- love that. Carrie Ru- loved her <laughs> pink. Another Star Wars alumni. They took people from all the worst Star Wars movies and put them in cocaine bear. Yeah. <laughs> God. We should have topped it off with some, you know, just put a fucking, I don't know, Ian McDermott in there or something. <laughs> As the bear. As the cocaine bear is like, do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to I wanna acknowledge this. Uh, the movie goes out of its way to, there's almost like conservationalist uh, ideals in, mm-hmm. in the movie that they kind of like, they, they don't hit you over the head with them, but they're there where you're like, at the end of the movie, you're like, you know what? Nature's great. And these bears are great. And fuck all these people. Like, yeah. you know, k- kill these yeah, people. Yeah, the power yeah. of nature. That I know, Jake, that that's something that you, that really gets you. And yeah. I like it too. But I think the movie works because whether it's a comedy or a horror movie, like I said it was, which I agree, there's no it's, horror I mean, music it's both, but... Um, they take it seriously. They take the subject matter seriously. They don't treat it like it's a joke. There's some uh, cinematography at the end when, like, they're in the waterfall and stuff. Where I'm like, this is such a throwback to like, like Anaconda or, yeah. or you know, Lost World or something like that. I, I really, mm-hmm. uh, we had fun. It was mm-hmm. good, good times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm. Re- got- I hope they make another one, or uh, I hope she makes another in the series. I guess it. Wouldn't make sense to be another bear movie, but yeah, I mean, yeah. I would watch more movies like this. Is what I'm saying. Bear or any other animal, or even just <laughs> even if there's no animal, just like the movie was well shot, it was well right. acted, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. I want more of that, and, and I want sh- less Ant Man's. We should say also, it's doing well. Like it, it's making money, so people yeah. are going to see it <laughs> after the movie. Uh, I was in the bathroom. Um. And uh, I was washing my hands, and uh, I don't know if people know this, but uh, at urinals, especially older men, they like to talk to each other. I don't. I don't participate in this. But there was a guy in there and with his buddy. And this was after the movie. They were in the same theater as us. And I, I was washing my hands. I just hear him go, <laughs> cocaine bear. What did I just watch? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, yeah. And his friend was like, stop making eye contact stop with touching me, me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dude. Um, hey don't look i don't do the chit chat while that happens no nope. i i also must say we got to go to this movie with a friend famous mm-hmm. professional wrestler oh yeah i can't remember his name Shh, i'm gonna tell you <laughs> it's not blind date oh i just remembered it chance uh, romance chance romance that's it uh, Jay Key, all the way from Monster Island, joined us on our festivities. Yeah, um, and uh, man, what a good what, what a good time! Good time yeah. with friends. I like that theater, the Spring Cinema. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep, got some snacks, got some popcorn. It was great. We had a great time. I you love going pizza? to the movies. And I was talking about earlier. There's a lot of movies coming out in the next couple of weeks. Let's let's before oh, we boy. wind down on this uh, bite sized episode of YHS because we have to start a. Midnight Mando, mandatory Mando. We're, we're gonna <laughs> you're talk gonna, about you're this. gonna you're gonna call it that for the whole season. Yeah, no, gonna we're be. gonna have to just start doing it at midnight so I don't make a mistake. It would be more important for everybody to be exhausted in their life than masochistic me, Mando than me making a mistake. <laughs> um, this month we've got Creed three, which just came out. We've yeah. got sixty five, the Adam Driver dinosaur movie. Yeah, we've got Shazam. <laughs> I'm just Talk saying. about the good movies. Okay, yeah. Shazam. Uh, 
Dungeons and Dragons, which my prediction is going to be a major flopper Rooney. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going I, to see it. No, no, fuck that. dude, that's gonna be bad. I was reading an article today. It was like starring mega Hollywood power stars Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez. I'm like, what? Chris Pine is a big old fart on your movie. Like <laughs> literally, he's just. It's not good if he's attached. Oh, this is what it would be. Um, Jacob yeah. and I, myself, we were listening to the Rewatchables podcast, uh, um, Bill Simmons podcast. They were talking about Whiplash. And yeah. I, normally I don't try to like reference what other podcasts say, but it was so funny. I have to bring this up. And I meant to tell Abby about this. They were talking about like the modern um, directors, right? Like, who the new generation of, of you know, directors are that that are going to people are going to be talking about in 20 years and they were talking specifically about um you know the director of whiplash his name is uh damien chazelle and they were also they mentioned uh greta what's her name greta gerwig, gerwig. Greta gerwig she's got barbie coming out yeah and uh, bill simmons made a really funny joke and he, the he mentioned olivia wilde got kicked out of the group oh, <laughs> yeah. <my God>. yeah. <laughs> with that I don't know if we ever talked about it on the podcast, but um, whatever that movie was. Called. Really don't worry about it. Don't in. worry, darling. Don't, don't worry, worry darling. about it. <laughs> don't worry about that movie. They should have called that movie. Someone better start worrying because this shit sucks. Okay. So what I'm saying wow, is there's a lot of big joke. movies. Scream. Like, Scream and 65 come out on the same day. Wow. Which is, which wow. is <laughs> why this week. Feeling, why this feeling, week. Jacob will not be on next week's episode of Mandatory Mando. I um, I bet you I'm going to hate both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the marketing they're doing for Scream? It's kind of cool. No. Mm, well, no, I don't think so. Oh, the thing where Ghostface is just like popping up in <laughs> pictures. Yeah. yeah, Ghostface is just showing up in towns. Cool. Oh. Um, and uh, there's a website where you can have Ghostface call you now, which is kind of fun. Well, oh, we should have him that. call us during this. Yeah. Um. What's your favorite scary movie? Cocaine Bear. Not Scream. <laughs> Not Scream. Megan. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, but Scream's going to make a ton of money. So they're going to ensure that a year from now we're talking sure. about Screams. Hey, we're going to see two Scream movies before that we see another Ghostbusters movie. I guarantee it. Probably. It's possible. We might see another Cocaine Bear. We might. You never know. Or Cocaine Shark or mm-hmm. whatever. Molly Bear. <laughs> He's just, he's just like touching he people. Just being a, a cuddle bear. The scene where he lay like <laughs> lays on top of him. This is really funny. Um Yeah. Jake, what's the word on the street on, on 65? Um, I don't know. Like it kind of looks fun, but I, I, I'm I'm annoyed by what the dinosaurs look like. I just think they, they look really, really lazy to me. Um they're very, very wrong and weird looking, and they look Oh, weird. you meant the uh, I'm such an idiot. Keep going. What are you talking about? The design looks lazy. Yeah. What did you think I was talking about? Like they're just the movie in general. No, like the you. T- oh, you sp- think the dinosaurs look lazy? Like they I'm don't like, like getting up. They don't yeah, like, like running. <laughs> the dinosaurs are really like, they're like they more just, indoor dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like no, they, I think they're not pull their weight. Yeah. The, just I don't know. I, I just think it's weird. Like it's 2023, and and we do have a pretty good, uh, you know. Uh, like a sense of idea on what dinosaurs looked like and these look like you remember remember when uh peter jackson's king kong came out i i think the dinosaurs in that movie look great but they're purposefully they purposefully don't look like accurate dinosaurs like they were made to look kind of like they all have different names it's the v-rex you know they're all right right the, the dinosaurs in 65 look like they did the same thing like they, they said hey let's try not to make them look like real dinosaurs. right right it's be something else uh and that's weird to me um yeah yeah but other I than mean, that like i mean i guess it looks fun like I'm, I'm 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 still gonna go see it like that's not right. gonna that's not gonna keep me from enjoying it it's just a weird nitpick type thing i hope it's good you know i I hope it's fun i think um well let's let's kind of end on this because we do have to get to mando and um just for if you're listening to this uh on the audio feed the mandatory mando is going to be its own separate episodes every week so uh, make sure that you check those out um lots of great movies coming up this year march is going to be great we're going to roll into the super mario brothers movie indiana jones by the way, I'm super excited for this Ninja Turtle. I'm starting to get hyped for the Ninja Turtles animated movie. It comes out in August. Toys are starting to leak. Yep. You know, we're, we're turtles are on our brain. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and then I know we didn't get to any real Ghostbusters chat tonight, but some of the stuff is starting to to uh, kind of come out, right? The the sets are being built. Real uh, Ghostbusters. What? Yeah, that's what I was. I know you why said that's real mind, Ghostbusters. But... Oh, I, I didn't. I, well, because <laughs> we talked about answer the call. Um, uh, the income, the actual Ghostbusters movie, Firehouse, the, the real. Set. That's real. Yeah, we all saw the picture on Instagram. Ba-da, 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 Jason yeah, everybody's Jason fucking Gale. posting it. Yeah, everybody's just, posting it. Just, 20 uh, people yeah. have posted it today. Mm-hmm. The hey. last hour, I've seen 15 posts. Do you know how many people commented on the picture? Like, you know, the tile company posted the interior tiles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For the firehouse people. Well, what's that tile? What's the, you know, oh, the what shade of green cover? is that? Oh, shit. Sure. Fucking- just appreciate the hot Who dads. Cares? It's good. <laughs> Yeah, like Abby, we're gonna send you on assignment to go, you know, try to kiss those Gil Keenans. These married, <laughs> that, stop it. I him and Jason Reitman are in relationships. You better yeah. calm down. Yeah. Not everyone's gonna just be Alden Ehrenreich. Just Yeah. <laughs> you can't always be some guy that I think I hooked up with. <laughs> I'm happy for. Um so what we're saying is guys, thank you for tuning in for this little uh little uh, bite size YHS. Uh stay tuned for more. Lots of good stuff coming up. We appreciate the support, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Bye, y'all. Should I start that? that sounds I, like I you're going to see like, them. We'll see oh, you guys after I'm after dead, and my brain is still working. For, <laughs> there, um, you know what? I think Troy go. Benjamin used to say, I'll see you on the other side, so I'll go back to my original. Stay tough, Marshmallow fans. I hate that. I hate that I said it. All right, bye, everybody. We don't have bye. time to think of a new one. Okay, bye. <laughs> Have some.